What's cracking guys? Uh, we've arrived at Lake Argyle uh, Caravan Park and Resort. Cool little place here right on the lake. Uh, massive infinity pool, um, cruises on the lake and that which we're going to do later on today. We've set up camp over there, nice shady spot. So yeah, take you on this little adventure. you're more than welcome. The most important thing though, please do not get your foot caught under the step at the front here. You will be swimming a lot sooner than your first plan, we don't want that. Also the chances of me laughing are extremely high. I apologise in advance, I am a very inappropriate laugher. Pretty sure I inherited that from my mother, so we're lucky she's not working on here today. Both of us would have been laughing at you. Now the sun will mostly be on this side today. Uh, obviously with us not having a full boat, feel free to move around as much. Four ton, one five ton, craned in and bolted together. So that's in the lake for good now. Amazing inside, fully air conditioned, massive kitchen area. Three bedrooms, bathroom, washing machine, coffee machine, it's got everything. Now the only thing that is not ideal, unfortunately it is privately owned. So meaning you're not able to hire that. Now I was lucky enough a few months or so ago to be able to take that out for the weekend and it was amazing. But also keeping in mind, it took me seven years of sucking up to the owner for that one weekend. So. See you in another seven years houseboat. Now coming up on our right, you'll actually see quite a few trees going up the hill and there's a couple of nests, but there's all, there are also the nests of the kite and there is a kite sitting on the end of the gauge board there. Now the orange and black line, pretty much where the grass starts, that's where the water sat in 2011. Another half a metre and that one way spillway bridge you made your way over would have been wiped out entirely. They say that there was 1.6 Olympic swimming pools per second flowing under that spillway. Crazy, isn't it? Now we lose water off the lake by a few different means. At the moment we're losing over 200,000 litres of water per second from evaporation. More so on a slightly windy day. When you combine that with the intake tower coming up on our right. Now this concrete structure is about 18 storeys high. At the moment you can see about half of it. Now the intake tower takes over 70,000 litres of water per second through the turbines to the hydropower station, which provides power for Kununurra, Wyndham, and it used to provide for 60% of the Argyle Diamond Mine. Now, when Argyle switched over to hydropower, they were saving 60 million litres of diesel a year. Go. Been in the water. Now, for a salty to get into Lake Argyle, they would have to cross Ivanhoe Crossing in Kununurra. Travel 55 kilometres up the Old River, climb the 98 metre high dam wall, cross the road and then climb down the other side. So needless to say, confidence levels extremely high. Now, 
what we're going to do, we are going to head off and head into Croc Bay and hopefully find some crocodiles. Now at this time of the year, we're just on the edge of whether we're finding crocodiles or not. Now the water at the moment is between 32 and 33 degrees. Now crocodiles have an ideal body temperature about 28, 29 degrees. So generally at this time of the year, they're not up on the banks quite so much sunning themselves. Obviously they'll cook themselves. Best time of the year to find the crocodiles, June, July, August, our winter months.
Missed that. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> Now I've got a Corona bow, but I'm 
isolation occupation is a stunt on the I thought I'd stand in contribution I'm employee of the week isolation ejaculations at an all-time peak Calvin regulations are for groups of two Well, call me a mathematician, y'all, that's P plus U And divide the lags and multiply And your bubble social distancing does not apply I've got a corona bone My isolation occupation is a spur donor Standing contribution, I'm the employee of the week. Isolation ejaculations at an all-time peak. What does the young fella think of it? He's enjoying it? Yeah. Whether you're at home or you're staying at the Ritz on your young man. It doesn't matter, it's all the same with a face full of tits. I've got a corona bone but does too, she's a real Mona Of course the moral of the story is that love can't dissolve Despite the troubles on the outside Well, my soldier's standing tall I've got a corona bona My isolation occupation is a stunt owner I thought I'm standing contribution I'm a boy of the week Isolation and activation's at an all-time peak Halloween shit in Australia. I know, right? <laughs> Georgia thinks it's fun. The things you do for kids. <laughs> that eye's small, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much? Maybe he's winking. It's do I need to go longer? Uh, you need to go... A bit more that way? And up a bit. And a bit that way? Yeah. And then we'll go fun. like that. DIY without the line. Yeah, that's good. Is that better? Yeah. Better? Why are the seeds so big? No, yeah, that's normal. There. Put your hand in. That's no, right. There you go. Oh, it's a donkey. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Go. It feels. It's a lovely pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll 
the swag I never noticed it. Is it?
Just arrived at Pan King Lookout in Lake Argo. Got a bit of a rocky four-wheel drive climb up. Not too bad. Uh, you have to do it in most four-wheel drives. Uh, just got to pick the right lines.
just at the water tank viewing area, Lake Argo. That rock area down there is the dam wall. Um, over there, in that mountain over there where you can see it's all dug away, that's where they blasted to actually build that wall. When they blasted, it's an American company that did it. Um, the guy actually, back in the day, lit the blasting cord with his cigarette butt. Um, they reckon it was the biggest blast ever felt other than an atomic bomb. Uh, it could be felt all the way through to Sydney, Queensland, out that far. It shook that much. So, Lake Argyle, which the intake structure, which is on the other side of the dam there, pumps into the pump house. Um, that powers um, Argyle and Kununurra and Wyndham out of that powerhouse, and then uh, allows the Ord River to allow it to get all to the um, farms, irrigation systems in Kununurra and then out to the gulfs, out to the gulf. Down there we have the Ord River. See if we can get a better view. We'll go up to that uh, viewing point down over there and have a look. Ord River Dam. There's the uh, suction point for the um, inlet for the power station. And then, I'm sure if you can see it from down here, from up here. All that water's pouring out there. That's the power station. And then, that's the Ord River. Now the Ord River, the second fastest flowing river in the world other than the Amazon. So the Amazon's the fastest flowing river in the world, Ford River's second fastest.
Morning guys. We are packing up at Lake Argyle and heading to Broome. Um, got a bit of a decent drive today. Not really stopping it much along the way uh, due to being the dry season. A lot of stuff's closed. Um, we were going to do the gib, but we're going to leave the gib until next time. We come back here just after wet season and then we'll go up to Columbaroo and all that top stuff next time when we come up. So we'll catch you later on.